Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. All right, like we always do, man, we end this thing off by shouting out, showing love, man. So, JoJo, we shouting out, dog. Well, man, last time I was on here, I was shouting out my K two second and my seven and eight grade team. Yeah, you did, you did. They yeah. both won the ship. You know what I mean? So I appreciate them boys. All right. Uh, but this shout out, I'm gonna shout out my family, man. Cause if it's one thing, if I'm having a rough day at work, it's guaranteed I could come home to a place where it's filled with no more love. Mm -hmm. So shout out to my family. Okay, all right, that's what's up. T, who you shouting out, dog? I'm gonna shout out them Virginia Cavaliers. I hate it. I hate to say that, but them boys really persevered. I mean, you think about it, they take all the smoke they took from last year, being the first team to lose as a number one seed, and then this year they come back and they, they were down against the team they played in round one, then they Fall in round two, and then, you know, they just kept doing things to get themselves advancing. And then the Auburn game, everybody can consider that to be controversial. That's fine. <laughs> and I understand that. I, I, I totally respect anybody's opinion on that game. But then the Texas Tech game, the National Championship, they just, they just did what they had to do to win it. And I hate to say that as a Tar Heel fan, but I'm glad they kept it in the ACC. I'm good with that. I ain't mad at them. That's a that's a great great job of just rebounding from last year's terrible loss, I guess you'd say. But yeah, I, I shout out to Virginia, man. That was, that was impressive. That's impressive, bro. All right, that's good. No doubt about that, man. All right, man. I got a shout out, uh, Nipsey Hustle, man. Uh, we all know that this is a sports show, uh, but Nipsey Hustle was a rapper, but he was a sports fan as well. And we see his brother getting a lot of love, basically for what he did, not even with his music, but basically what he did in his community. Yeah. So I'm doing this shout out on our sports show because I want to make sure that we don't forget about the Nipsies and our own lives. Those people that make an impact on our lives on a day-to-day -day basis that might not have the funds, might not have the fame. So for me, those Nipsies were my coaches. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to say shout out to Roy Lucky. Cool ass man. Coached me in junior high. Miami Hurricanes fanatic. He would be decked out That's a good at the Miami Hurricanes That's a good dude. That's a good dude. All right, man. That's a good dude. He always encouraged me to read. Of course, he coached me, but he always was telling me to read books and stuff like that, man. To hear that from a black man, man. That was a big deal, you know what I'm saying? It kind of validated everything I was doing already. Shout out to my high school coach, Keith Barnes, who's like a father figure to me. Uh, of course, excellent coach while I was in high school, but since then, has still been, he thought I was uh, sick the other day. He gave me a call just to see if I was all right. That's the kind of man he is. When I had my back surgery, he came to the hospital and wheeled me around in my wheelchair. That's the kind of man he is. And shout out to Daniel Minnis. Uh Just was a coach in the neighborhood. We opened up the gym. Yeah. So instead of guys being in the streets, you can come to the gym and hoop. You know what I'm saying? You could not hoop unless you say the Lord's Prayer up in that thing. You're going to make you whole head. No matter who the fuck you were. You, if you were on whole head and say to our Father, you will not hoop it. You couldn't be up in there cussing, he wouldn't even let you dunk. That's how he was. He would challenge you. We would go bowling. He'd take the bowling. We'd shoot pool. We'd play, play ping pong. And I beat him. I have beat you, coach. But I just got to appreciate these guys. And I challenge everybody. Don't forget about the Nipsey hustles that's in your own communities. Uh, again, we're a sports show. So a lot of times that turns out to be your coaches. Yeah. Coaches out there that really make an impact on guys' lives, like the partner right here who's coaching these kids, you making an impact on them kids' lives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The first guy I mentioned, Roy Lucky, he coached me in junior high school. I still remember him to this day. So whether you know it or not, you making a huge impact on those kids' lives, man. So shout out to all the real ones out there that's holding down for your community. 
keep doing what you're doing, whether you get the fame or fortune for it or not, you got somebody to fuck with you. Appreciate y'all. One.